Shalom, everybody. There is power in knowing the truth. There is power in knowing the truth found in the word of Yahuwah when confronting evil and deception in these times. Discerning and knowing the word in these times is essential. There is much deception and a distant and a distinct difference in being nascent and being willfully ignorant of the truth according to Yahuwah. The enemy is real and works very effectively through lies and deceptions, achieving its purpose through those who do not know nor receive the truth. Nowhere in scriptures are we called to be complacent, neutral, or accepting of evil and wickedness. The word of Yahuwah is giving to instruct and guide all men into the truth and to reveal evil as much as the heart of Yahuwah who is love. By knowing the word, we know the truth, which then sets us free from deceptions, heresies, and false doctrines. It is then evident, it is then efficient as a tool when combined with the guidance and direction of the Ruach Kadesh, the set apart spirit, and knowing the way we are to go, what is right, truth, love, and faith. Then we can com then we can apply these truths in our life and all we say or do. That we might belong to the truth and light found in Yahusha HaMashiach. The following are scriptures which serve to help discern evil from good in this day and time and how we are to approach these things. Be ye not unyoke, unequally yoked together with unbelievers, for what fellowship hath righteousness with unrighteousness? And what communion has the light with darkness? And what concord has Messiah with Belial? Or what hath he believeth with an infidel? 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verses 14 and 15. Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil, that put darkness for light and light for darkness, that put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. Isaiah chapter 5, verse 20. Proving what is acceptable unto Yahuwah, and then have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather reprove them. Ephesians chapter 5, verses 10 and 11. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 12. My son, if sinners entice thee, consent thou not. If they say, come with us, let us lay wait for blood. Let us lurk privily for the innocent without cause. Let us swallow them up alive as the grave and whole and those that go down into the pit we shall find all precious substance we shall find our houses with spoil cast in thy lot among us let us all have one purse my son walk not in the ways with them refrain thy foot from their path for their feet run to evil and make haste to shed blood Surely in vain the net is spread in the sight of any bird, and they lay wait for their own blood. They lurk privily for their own lives. So are the ways of everyone that is greedy of grain, which taketh away the life of their owners thereof. Proverbs chapter 1, verses 10 through 19. When wisdom enter into the heart, and knowledge is pleasant unto thy soul. Discretion shall preserve thee. Understanding shall keep thee. To deliver thee from the way of the evil men. From the man that speaketh forward things. Froward things. Who leave the paths of uprightness, uprightness to walk in the ways of darkness. Who rejoice to do evil and delight in the frowardness of the wicked. For the upright shall dwell in the land, and the perfect shall remain in it. But the wicked 
shall be cut off from the earth, and the transgression shall be rooted out of it. Proverbs chapter 2, verses 10 through 14, and 21 and 22. Enter not into the path of the wicked, and go not in the way of evil men. Avoid it, pass not by it, turn from it, and pass away. For they sleep not, except they have done mischief, and their sleep is taken away, unless they cause some to fall. For they eat the bread of wickedness, and drink the wine of violence. But the path of the just is as the shining light that shineth more and more onto the perfect day. The way of the wicked is as darkness. They know not at what they stumble. My son, attend to my words, incline thine ear unto my sayings. Let them not depart from thine eye, keep them in the midst of thine heart. Turn not to the right hand, nor to the left, remove thy foot from evil. Proverbs chapter 4, verse 14 through 21 and 27. He that justify the wicked, and he that condemneth the just, even they are both abominations to Yahuwah. Proverbs chapter 17 verse 15. But those things which proceeded out of the mouth come forth from the heart, and they defile the man. For out of the heart proceeded evil thoughts, murders, adulterers, fornications, thefts, false witnesses, blasphemy. Note, Yahushua describes exactly what is considered evil and wicked. So murder, rape, torture, incense, incest, adultery, idolatry, hatred, gossip, malice, slander, and other evil behaviors and thoughts all fall under this definition. And this is the condemnation that light is come to that light is come into the world, and men love darkness rather than light, because their deeds were evil. For every one that doeth evil hates the light, neither comes to the light, lest his deeds should be reproved. But he that does truth comes to the light, that his deeds may be manifest, that they are wrought in Yahuwah. John chapter 3 verse 19 to 21 Let love be without dissimulation. Abhor that which is evil, cleave to that which is good. Romans chapter 12 verse 9 A Matthew scripture chapter 5 verses 43 to 48 is always taken out of context saying that it reads ye have heard that it hath been said thou shalt love thy neighbor and hate thine enemy I say unto you love your enemies bless them that curse you do good to them that hate you and pray for them which despitefully use you and persecute you that ye may be the children of your father which is in heaven for he maketh his son to rise on the evil and on the good, and sendeth great on the just and the unjust. For if you love them which love you, what reward have ye? Do not even the tax collectors or the publicans the same? And if ye salute your brethren only, what do ye more than others? Do not even the publicans so? But ye therefore perfect even as your fathers which in heaven is perfect be therefore perfect i'm sorry even as your father which is in heaven is perfect seek wisdom from yahuwah through the scriptures and available from the ruah kadesh set apart spirit so that you will know yahuwah's perfect will in all these things around the world right now there are literally hundreds being persecuted even tortured, raped, and murdered under horrible circumstances, including all manners of sexual immortality, domestic violence, high crime rates, and why Yahushua taught and foretold 
that because of an increase of lawlessness, the love of many waxes cold. Torah is love. It's grievous to me, but more so to Abba Yahuwah, Father Yahuwah, to not be affected by this incredibly insensitive and to minimize it even worse. Statistics prove that repeatedly the reason is based on religion apart from truth, Torah, and Yahuwah himself. Those who truly know and belong to Yahuwah do not commit these acts, and we are told those who are his we are told those that are his will not sin. And if we stumble, we understand repentance. Righteous anger is justified here. As we certainly feel anger, we discern such things, yet not to sin in our anger. We are told over and over in scriptures to hate what is evil and how we are to respond to it. Scripture is very clear concerning these things. We also know Yahuwah has made provisions for everyone, including the wicked, to find grace forgiveness and love through Yahusha. He is the only way and truth to find life for he is wherever eternal life and love manifest. But they must come to him in repentance. There's a few things I want you to think about. Fear the sins that you commit in secret because the witness of those sins is the judge himself think about this how can you have a relationship with someone if you don't know their name the definition of idolatry and now worship of idols blind or excessive devotion to something excessive devotion to something that's idolatry synonyms adultation hero worship idolization scripture warns us over and over again not to adopt pagan traditions and incorporate them into our worship of Yahuwah. Ignoring what the word of our Creator says and doing it anyway is nothing more than the blind and excessive devotion, the very definition of idolatry. There are so many other things with idolatry too. If you watch every single basketball game or every single football game or every single Yankee game, that's blind devotion to something. I fell victim. We all have fallen victim to this. It could be anything. Idols can be anything. The truth of Scripture will not change to fit in with man's beliefs and traditions. Rejecting the whole truth will not change it Believe all of it or nothing. Never base your faith on your feelings. Base it on the word of Yahuwah. Torah observers are not people pleasers. Remember that. To be in right standing with Yahuwah Almighty, Father Yahuwah, it will make you very unpopular with men. Weigh the cost. Pay the price. Yahuwah didn't give us scripture to scare us. He gave us scripture to prepare us. Satan is revealed. Lawless. The definition of lawless. Satan is revealed in 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verses 3 to 11. Read that. The definition of lawless. 
adjective not governed by or obedient to laws. Synonyms. Illegal. Unlawful. Illicit. Illegitimate. What does scripture say about this? Lawlessness is sin. 1 John chapter 3 verse 4. No Torah. Torah is instructions. Without law. Without law equals without love. Matthew chapter 24 verse 12. Lawlessness is the mark of the anti-Messiah. 2 Thessalonians chapter 2. No Torah, the beast. The lawless will be denied entry to the kingdom. Matthew chapter 7 verse 23. But the one who endures to the end, he will be saved. Matthew, 20, Matthew chapter 24 verse 13. He who turns away his ear from listening to the Torah, even his prayer is an abomination. I'm going to read that one more time. That's how important this is. He who turns away his ear from listening to the Torah, even his prayer is an abomination. That means if you're not following his law, statutes, and commands, and you're not following his Torah instructions, your prayer is is an abomination to you. Read Proverbs chapter 28, verse 9. That includes the feast days. The Leviticus, Levitical, Leviticus chapter 23, the set apart feasts of Yahuwah. Passover, the feast of unleavened bread, the first fruits, the feast of weeks, the feast of trumpets, the day of atonement, the Feast of Tabernacles, and of course, the Seventh-day Sabbaths. You're going to celebrate Yahuwah's Feast Days, or are you going to celebrate pagan holidays? Christmas, Easter, Valentine's Day, Thanksgiving, your birthday, Halloween, President's Day, Mother's Day, St. Patrick's Day, Fourth of July, Black Friday, Columbus Day, New Year's Eve, all that stuff. I choose Father Yahuwah's Feast Days. The scriptures is not a bag of trail mix. You can't just pick up the pieces you like and ignore the rest. Repentance is a change of direction in thought, behavior, and it begins in the Torah instructions. Luke chapter 13 verse 3. Unless you repent, you will perish. I repeat. Luke chapter 13 verse 3 unless you repent you will perish it's imperative that we repent shalom everybody